Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Shirley, and I want to thank you for tuning in to ECU Opera Theater's Fall 2020 Role Study Project. Lacking the ability to perform a full production for you this semester, the students of ECU Opera Theater and I turned our attention to techniques for role preparation, with emphasis on developing a character's backstory and exploring how that story is expressed through text and later through music. Each of the 18 students in this semester's opera ensemble chose a role to study, and soon they're going to share a little of their work with you. I'm deeply grateful to each of these students for their dedication, perseverance, and flexibility during this virtual semester. I also want to offer thanks to the Vocal Studies faculty of the ECU School of Music, in particular, Professor Eric Stelrecht, who prepared and played all of the accompaniments which you're about to enjoy. And finally, this project would have never been possible without the assistance of Coordinator of Audio Studies, Mr. Alex Davis, and his assistant, Nicholas Mackey. Thank you, gentlemen. And it wouldn't be 2020 if I didn't ask you to like and follow ECU Opera Theater on Facebook and Instagram. We miss performing for you, and we hope to see you back at the theater as soon as we are all able to safely return. Please enjoy. Hi, my name is Meredith Howell, and the role that I've chosen to study this semester is Kathy from Wuthering Heights by Bernard Herrmann. Kathy has been a great character to study for many reasons. One of them definitely being I was able to be with her from the beginning to the end over a very long period of years. I got to watch her grow as a character and as a human, and I got to see her follow her heart and her mind in the very end. And it was just so incredible to be with her through that journey. That sounds a little cliche, but it I've really gotten to know her uh, this past semester and it's been so wonderful. I have dreamt in my life's dream that have stayed with me forever and ever and have gone through and through me like wine through malt water and have altered the color of my mind. I dreamt once that I was in heaven that heaven did not seem to be my home, and I broke my heart with weeping to see the heath again, and the angels flung me back to earth and wuthering heights, where I awoke sobbing, sobbing for joy. Hi, my name is Veronica Rice, and the role I've chosen to study this semester is Letitia from The Old Maid and the Thief by Menotti. The entire opera is hilarious, but Letitia in general is such a fun, lighthearted, playful character, and she's sort of the mastermind throughout the entire opera, but she gets away with everything because she's so witty and intelligent, and you would never expect this demure little maid to be kind of mischievous. And she's got big aspirations that you find out. Steal me. Oh, steal me, sweet thief. For time's flight is stealing my youth. And the cares of life steal fleeting time. Steal me, thief. For life is brief and full of theft and strife. And then, with furtive step, Death comes and steals time and life. Oh, sweet thief, I pray, make me die before dark death steals her prey. Kobe Gallman and this semester I have chosen to study Romeo from Romeo and Juliet by Charles Gounod 
and Hiawatha from Hiawatha's Wedding Feast by Samuel Coleridge Taylor. I chose to do Romeo because of how dramatic and unpredictable his character can be throughout the opera. Gounod does an excellent job of showing his character throughout the piece by giving us really heartfelt and dramatic arias such as A Le Vitoire. And I chose Hiawatha from Hiawatha's Wedding Feast because I think it is so important these days to do works by African-American composers. And it is important to note that not so long ago, Hiawatha's Wedding Feast was not so uncommon. Does not all the blood within me leap to meet thee, leap to meet thee, as the spring to meet the sunshine in the moon when nights are brightest? On a way, my heart sings to thee, sings with joy when thou art near me, as the sighing, singing branches in the pleasant moon of strawberries. My name is Ivana Popovich, and this semester I studied the role of Alexandra from Mark Blitstein's Regina. I found Alexandra really inspiring personally because she's so relatable and she grows so much throughout the opera. I think she's relatable because she's a young woman who's trying to figure out how to make her own decisions, what her purpose in life is and what she wants from life, aside from what her family or her mother want her to do. And I think that young people in general are really just trying to do that, trying to figure things out and make their own decisions. I think Mark Blitzstein really captured her essence in the aria, what will it be for me? Will it be all real and right? And how will it feel to really love a perfect stranger? Look in his eyes and look and kiss that perfect stranger. I cannot imagine it quite. It's like nothing else before, the opening of a door to the light. I stand at the door and wait and wonder, who'll come knocking? Who'll stand outside and wait and wonder, will I open? Open to what dazzling light. My life is waiting for me. I wonder, what will it be? My name is Alana Perrin, and the role that I've decided to study this semester is Irina from Lost in the Stars by Kurt Bile. Personally, I've been very inspired by Irina this semester. She is a strong, independent woman who is trying to make the most out of her terrible living situation. So she's very young, and she's pregnant, and she has this awful significant other that is not supportive of her at all. And even with all of this going on, she's still trying to be the best person that she can be for her child, which I think is pretty amazing. Stay well, O oh keeper of my love. Go well throughout all of your dates. Your star, the luckiest star above. Your ways, the luckiest ways. Since unto you, my one love is given, and since with you it will remain, 
Though you bring fear of hell, despair of heaven, stay well. Come well to my door again. My name is Peyton Parker, and the role I've chosen to study this semester is Lightfoot McClendon from Cold Sassy Tree by Carlisle Floyd. Lightfoot inspires me because she doesn't let her family's social and economic status define her, and she is willing to do anything in order to achieve her goals of finishing school. She is a strong and independent young lady, so this aria gives her the opportunity to confide in a friend and let her feelings be known. It's like some hunger my spirit is starved for that only a lifetime of learning can fill. The very first time I opened a school book and realized what wondrous things there were inside, I started to tremble. My heart pounded so. And at once I understood it then that with learning and knowledge, why the whole world would open. The whole wide world would open to me. I yearn so to know things. I truly crave learning. It feeds my soul's hunger like nothing else can and will till I die. Edward Jones and the world I decided to study this semester was Sporting Life from Porgy and Bess. This particular role has been a big theme in my life. I really identify with the character and I was really excited to get to work him. Sporting Life is such an interesting fellow. He's I used to play the good guys in uh, my productions but I want to say that's Sporting Life. So I got to experience the other side <laughs> of the the cast, the bad boys. Mm, the things that you liable to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily so. Little David was small, but oh my. Little David was small, but oh my. It fought big a lie who lay down and died. <laughs> Little David was small. Oh, but my. And Jonah, he lived in the well. Yeah, Jonah, he lived in the well. <laughs> For he made his home in that fish's abdomen. Oh, Jonah lived in the well. The Moses was found in the tree. The Moses was found in the tree. He floated on water till the Pharaoh's daughter. She reached and she says, we must be. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Wasser. In the semester in opera, I chose to study the role of Lori from Aaron Copeland's The Tenderland. I really enjoyed learning about Lori's character. Um, I was really drawn to her in the beginning because I felt we had a lot of personal similarities. She's adamant about being independent after graduating high school and I felt the same at the time. Um, I really thought that Aaron Copeland captured a lot of Lori's uh, daydreaming tendencies in the music as well. It becomes kind of random at times 
as if she's really experiencing a thought in real time. I'll be graduated soon. Why am I strange inside? What makes me think I'd like to try to go down all those roads beyond that line above the earth and neath the sky? Tomorrow, when I stand upon that graduation platform stand, I know my hand will shake when I reach out to take that paper with the ribboned band. Now that all the learning's done, who knows what will now begin. It's so strange, I'm strange inside. The time has grown so short, the world so wide. My name is Madeline Beeson, and the role that I chose to study this semester is Lucy from The Telephone by Minotti. Lucy is the main character of this opera. She is quirky, she's dynamic, and most importantly, she is very lovable. And her objective in life is to be loved and accepted by all people. And I feel like a lot of us can resonate with that. The aria that I chose to sing from this opera is the opening aria. Hello, oh Margaret, it's you. This is a one-way phone call that Lucy is having with her best friend, Margaret. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello? Oh, Margaret, it's you. I am so glad you called. I was just thinking of you. It's been a long time since you called me. Who? I? I cannot come tonight. No, my dear, I'm not feeling very well. <coughs> when? Where? I wish I could be there. I'm afraid I must not. Hello? Hello? What did you say, my darling? What did you say? Hello? My name is Emily Kalbasinski, and the role I've chosen to study this semester is The Mother from Amal and the Night Visitors by Minati. Um, personally, with this character, I have been so inspired by how much she loves her son and how far she's willing to go to just give him a better life, and I think that's really inspiring, um, and I just love that about her that even though she struggles, she is so caring for her son and puts him first with everything. His eyes are sad. His hands are those of the poor, as poor he was born. But no one will bring him incense or gold, though sick and poor and hungry and cold. He's my child, my son, my darling, my own. The child I know on his palm holds my heart. The child I know at his feet holds my life. He's my child, my son, my darling, my own, and his name is Amal.
Hello, my name is Christian Powell and the role I've chosen to study is Bess from Porgy and Bess by George Gershwin. Determination from Bess was most inspirational. I'm sure it was hard to overcome substance abuse in a town amongst other things that isn't very promising. Bess's goal is to cherish Porgy, leave the fast life behind and form a bond with her most stable self. George Gershwin outlines this by showing us who Bess wants to become instead of who she once was. What you want with Bess? She's getting old now. Take a fine young gal for to satisfy crown. Look at this chest and look at these arms you got. You know how it always been with me. These five years I've been your woman. You could kick me in the street and when you wanted me back, you could whistle and there I was back again, licking your hand. There's plenty better looking gal than Bess. Hello, my name is Guy Devon, and the character I picked to play was Frederick from Pirates of Penzance by Gilbert and Sullivan. And um, I was inspired by this character because in the times we're in of COVID-19, like the music community is really struggling and the opera as a whole is really comedic. So I picked this character because it's comedic, it's fun, and everyone could use a laugh right now. So I really um, was inspired by this. And then I feel as if the composer captured this character in this aria by um, the words because he is super sincere throughout the entire aria, but the words are so funny and he doesn't realize that he's actually being offensive. Oh, is there not one maiden here whose homely face and bad complexion have caused all hope to disappear of ever winning the man's affection? To such an one, if such there be, I swear by heaven's arch above you, if you will cast your eyes on me, however plain you'll be, I'll love you. However plain you be, if you will cast your eyes on me, however plain you be, I'll love you. I'll love you. I'll love you. I'll love you. Hi, my name is April Groskopf, and I chose to study the role of Monica from The Medium by Giancarlo Minotti. What inspires me about this character is her ability to find joy in everyday life. She lives in such a grim circumstance. Her mother is always coming home drunk and abusing both her and her friend Toby who lives with them. And despite all that, she's still finding a way to have fun and be imaginative and find the joy in everyday life. And when you fly, please hold on tight to my waist. I'm flying with you. Oh, Monica, Monica, dance the waltz. Monica, Monica, dance the waltz. Follow me, moon and sun. Follow me. Follow. Follow me. Follow me, follow, follow me.
What is the matter, Toby? What is it you want to tell me? My name is Jordan Cartrett, and the role I've chosen to study this semester is Kitty Oppenheimer from Dr. Atomic by John Adams. And I've chosen this role because I've actually studied this opera before in um, some of my modern music courses, and I thought it was just really interesting and fantastic. It's a more modern uh, opera, and it's a historical opera. It's based on the um, development of the atomic bomb. So it's really interesting stuff to see in the format of an opera. Blurring the mind, kissing your mouth awake, opening the body's mouth, stopping the words. This light is thick with birds and evening warns us beautifully of death. Slowly, I bend over you. Slowly, your breath runs rhythms through my blood as if I said I love you and you should raise your head, listening, speaking into the covert night. Did someone say something? Love, love, am I in your light? Only my fingers in your hand. Only, only my eyes splitting the sky to tickle your Hi, my name is Nicholas Mackey, and I've chosen to study John Brooke from Marco Damo's Little Women. And I think what I like about John so much, he's a very simple, kind of down-to-earth man. Uh, he doesn't really have any huge ideals that we know of. He just wants to settle down with a you know wife and kids and live a contented life, which is a kind of fresh change of pace sometimes from a lot of the huge characters we normally play in opera. In this particular scene, uh, John is telling a story to Meg. They're playing a storytelling game. And this is one of the scenes that precedes their wedding. John is slipping in ideas to see if Meg may be interested. There was a knight once. A, no crusader, no hero, no one great. But not a dunce either. Uh, how old was he? 28? He met a duke one day, who had bred a colt, fine and strong, but young and wild. Said to the duke, Train him, but train him tenderly, as you would train a child. Well, I shall try, said the knight. One can always try. I'll be kind when I can, be as patient as I must, and still each day, bright or gray, I'll be nigh. Shall I try? Ask the knight. He met a duke one day, would bred a colt, high and strong, but young and wild. Said the duke, train him, but train him tenderly, as you would train a child. Hi guys, my name's Olivia Joyner, and this semester I chose to study the role of Yum Yum from Gilbert and Sullivan's The Mikado. I think the one thing that inspires me most about Yum Yum as a character is her confidence. I am not an overly confident person, but I think it was really good for me to get into the mindset of a character that is just extremely confident in not only her beauty and her talent, but 
in her personality, in her charisma, in her intelligence. I think that Gilbert and Sullivan were able to capture the essence of her confidence in this piece, The Sun Whose Rays Are All Ablaze. Observe his flame, that placid dame, the moon's celestial highness. There's not a trace upon her face of diffidence or shyness. She borrows light that through the night mankind may all acclaim her, and truth to tell she lights up well, so I for one don't blame her. Ah, pray make no mistake, we are not shy, we are very wide awake, the moon and I. Ah, pray make no mistake, we are not shy, we are very wide awake, the moon and I. Hi, my name is Erica Timmerman and I have been studying the role of Sister Helen from Dead Man Walking by J.K. this semester. And this role is truly inspiring because the character Sister Helen is actually still alive today and still fighting for what she was in this opera, which is the abolishment of capital punishment. Um, I really think the composer J.K. captures her essence, especially in the aria this journey this journey. I'm going to die, he writes me. I haven't a chance. Does he want me to help him to die? Is he afraid of death? What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? Death, maybe. And what else? I want to know. This journey? This journey to Jesus? My name is Ian Stevens, and I chose to study Mabel from the Pirates of Penzance by Gilbert and Sullivan. I really enjoyed learning about this character because while women during this time period were simply expected to marry and tend to their husbands in the house, she was very well educated and wanted more for herself. I feel that the composers captured her essence through showing how kind she was in being willing to give her heart to Frederick when her other sisters judged him so quickly and turned their backs on him. Poor Wandering One, though thou hast surely strayed, Take heart of grace, thy steps retrace, poor wandering one, poor wandering one. If such poor love is mine, can help thee find true peace of mind, why take it, it is thine. Take heart, sure days will shine, take any heart, take mine. Take heart,